Hi everyone, my name is Rafael Santos with the VMware Workspace ONE support team. And on this video, I will show you how to renew your DEP token for your Apple devices. So the first thing you're gonna do is log into your Workspace ONE console and open up the DEP settings. From the device enrollment program page, you can see what token you're looking for, the name of the token, the expiration date, and the last time it was successfully able to sync. Oftentimes, we do need to renew these tokens if the Workspace ONE console loses communication to Apple Business Manager, and therefore this will be one of our troubleshooting steps to renew this token. After we looked at the DEP configuration and took note of the DEP token name that we want to renew, we can make our way over to Apple Business Manager and download a new token. As you can see, I already have my server over here open, matching the name of the DEP configuration I have on the AirWatch console. So what I'll do now is download the token. After the token is downloaded, we'll work our way back to the Workspace ONE console and proceed with our renewal. So step one, it tells us to generate a new token from Apple, which we just did. So we'll go ahead and go to step number two and upload the file. After you've uploaded the new token, you can scroll down and see the new information here under token. So the expiration date changes and the last successful sync didn't change yet because we have not synced anything as of yet. So if you want to sync, you can just click fetch all devices. And now the time shows 4.02 p.m. Eastern time, which matches our time here on our screen. So a good test to do after you've done the new upload of the token, go ahead and fetch all devices and that will confirm to you that the Workspace ONE console is communicating properly with the Apple servers and you should be good to go after that. A common issue that occurs when attempting to renew a DEP token is that sometimes a user will download a token that does not match the Workspace ONE token they're trying to renew. This can easily happen since you can have multiple DEP setups in the same console. So it is very important to match the token name from the DEP configuration in the console to the server name in Apple Business Manager. So you will not face any errors when trying to renew. And those are the steps that you need to take to renew your DEP token. Thanks for watching.